So this is our first video Fedora Council meeting. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, and Chris Roberts from Fedora Marketing is here to give a presentation on sort of the status of Fedora Marketing and the um, future of it and current needs and future needs for Fedora Marketing. So um, I guess I will turn it over to Chris and uh, mute my broadcast here. <laughs> All right, let me see here. All right, so can everybody see my screen? Hopefully, OK. So um, Matthew asked me to do a presentation on Fedora marketing, um, kind of what he just summed up there, where we are, what's going on with the project. Because um, I know sometimes we're kind of quiet, where the other groups like infrastructure and development and so forth are kind of a little bit more noisy, um, so a little bit easier to follow. So just going to go over that. Um, since we are doing YouTube, I just thought I'd put a quick intro in there. Um, I've been, my name's Chris Roberts. I've been with the Fedora project since mid Fedora 18. Um, I started in docs and then kind of found out that wasn't really for me. So then I joined marketing and it kind of helped out pretty much everywhere now. Um, so these are my contact details. Um, best way to get a hold of me is just through email um, or IRC and so forth. Um, so today I wanted to just go over just a few things, kind of what does Fedora marketing actually do? the current status of it, and then what we could use some help with um, to develop a little bit better relationship with some of the teams. Because I think um, we have a few teams that we work with, but um, it would be nice to actually get a little bit more closer relationship with more of the technical teams. And I'm sure that they could probably use a little bit of our help as well. Um, so, And then also that the last part of it is how can everybody contribute. So, so the first thing, Fedora marketing, um, it's kind of like a weird term because it's kind of like the back part of the project. Um, when we think of Fedora, we think of applications, uh, design, websites, all that stuff. And so kind of marketing kind of gets pushed back a little bit. Um, but we actually do a lot of things behind the scenes um, that kind of show up in the foreground. The first being is the social media accounts. So every Facebook tweet and Google Plus post that's done is done by uh, Fedora Marketing. Um, we usually host everything on the Fedora magazine and post back to that. Um, so marketing also runs that as well. Um, so we've kind of got a really good face presence, but we don't really do like too much of the technical stuff. So, but we are pretty much the face of Fedora when it comes to blogging or tweeting anything. Um, so the, also the other thing that we do is with the ambassadors. So anytime the ambassadors go to an event, if they need design work done, flyers, we coordinate with. Uh, we either will start that project ourselves or a task, and then we'll work with the design team to kind of get that, uh, to get what they needed, so forth. So everything, so they should have, they should never need be in a go to an event without anything they actually need. Um, we also write up the alpha, beta, and GA announcements that you see on the wiki page. That also go out every time we release a Fedora, um, you know, a alpha, beta, and GA. So. We get that information. Uh, Joe Brockenmeyer has been really doing a good job, but he's on our marketing team uh, with the uh, getting the information from the prospective teams about that. And, and then also, lastly, um, I think what really kind of I, I kind of wish Fedora like marketing Fedora marketing would would be up front a little bit more about is that I think when people think of Fedora marketing, they think of the Fedora magazine because that's kind of the big big project with us, but uh, we obviously do the stuff up above and kind of, and I think at this year at Flock, uh, Joe is going to do a speech to kind of highlight more of the behind the scenes stuff that we do. So we really do have a focus on marketing and not just, oh, it's the magazine. But that's the other thing that we uh, contribute or we do is we maintain the magazine and then we help promote and encourage content or contributors to write articles. So the current status of Fedora marketing. So we recently just did the, the Fedora Next change was kind of a big change for us. Um, so a lot of things have changed, bookmarks, um, website design, all that stuff. Uh, so we just got done with the 21, and we're almost done with all of our 22 tasks right now. Um, so I did highlight some of the links here. So they should all be clickable. Um, let me, did I send this? Let me send this slide out for everybody.
I just posted that. The uh, this is the copy of the slide in the Fedora meeting channel. Um, so our tasks pretty much stay the same um, across the board. Um, like I said, a lot of things have changed though with bookmarks, and our the websites team we're working with them closely with the design team as well to actually get the uh, some new stuff for the websites. And Joe Brockemeyer also just published our beta announcement that went out. Uh, he did an excellent job. He's awesome at that. He's been our savior for the alpha and beta and GA announcements. So I really commend him on that. And again, bringing back to the Fedora magazine, uh, Ryan Lurch, um, he's on the design team and kind of just a helper all around, has been helping. Uh, he actually re just did our uh, design theme, uh, which has increased visitors and uh, readers by two times. Now, probably some of those are bots, but um, good. I've seen a lot of traffic, when, especially when Matthew uh, tweeted about the new design. We even got uh, some Ubuntu people looking at it, which was kind of interesting. So I just wanted to do a quick slide of this. It's kind of a blurry image, but so we do have a track list. So for anybody who's interested in contributing, um, we put uh, magazine articles for anybody who wants to read, who kind of has like writer block, kind of get like at least started. Um, and then also everybody can should who has a fast account should be able to contribute to the ticket system. So ambassadors are free to put tickets in here. Um, anybody is. So we can, that way we know about work and stuff. But we keep all of our tickets in here. So anybody looking to contribute and so forth can, can help out with that. So just a quick, you know, the Fedora, again, Fedora marketing is pretty much the, um, as people think, is the, the Fedora magazine. So uh, just to highlight a few of those things. So this is what we looked at earlier this year. Um, you can kind of see it was kind of like a bland design. I actually had some more um, that were kind of some pictures that really made it look bad last year. Um, but it's it's kind of grown, and but now we've changed to this awesome new theme, which has really increased um, not only just Fedora people, but general people in the Linux community actually coming to see our site. Um, so with Fedora marketing running this, but our content coming in from both Matthew, contributors, all the sorts. It's really actually just driven more than just, you know, like I said, oh, um, oh my god, Ubuntu actually has made a tweet on their website about our site. So it's not just Fedora people in general anymore that are coming to this. So with the magazine, we've really transitioned it from just a Fedora related thing to pretty much just general in the Linux community, which has been really cool. So just some stats on it too. Uh, as you can see, we've our highest hit is 1 million or 1.2 million, and on an average day, I think we get about four to five thousand hits on the site. So, what we've been really focusing on is Fedora and the community, and Matthew's been doing a really good job with that with the five weeks, uh, five things in Fedora this week. So, and we've also been covering uh, different applications um, and so forth, badges. Everything. So we want. We're trying to keep it, like I said, in Fedora in the community, uh, because we are getting more and more people uh, coming to the site. And if anybody doesn't have a login for the site, who wants to see this page, just let me know after the conference, and I can uh, grant them access to see this page. So a couple. There are some things that we definitely need help with. Um, one thing I would really like to. When I was at the last flock. And the flack before that. One thing talking to the ambassadors is is that we don't really have a lot of event coverage. So we have ambassadors going to events. I mean, I see the FUD contract tickets for being people being reimbursed all the time, but I don't see a lot of event like recaps coming back. And I really would I really would be cool if we could have the ambassadors when they go to an event. You know, I don't know if it'd be like a requirement or so forth, but just like a quick summary, just like here's you know instead of page you know day one, day two, day three, just a general type up of the events because I think a lot of people are curious to see what goes on in those events uh, who can't make them. Uh, a lot of it'd be nice to actually get some Fedora, make content for the Fedora magazine, so that would help out as well. Just in general, though, and also would kind of give us an idea of as far as marketing is concerned, of what kind of things go on in those events. Like if we need to focus on you know, flyers, if we need to focus on stuff, if, if the people 
like if they go there and they see Sousa has this awesome, awesome, uh, you know, table and booth, but yet we don't have any of that cool kind of flair or whatever, that gives us an idea that we can go and work with the design team to see if we can make our booth, you know, awesome too. So the biggest thing I really want to reach out for is where we need help is with the ambassadors. I think that if we could just get an event recap, it doesn't have to be anything long, just something short that we can even put on the magazine or just kind of a general feedback, it would be pretty it'd be pretty nice to help us out. So that's my big thing. Um, the other thing too is um, more of the, and I brought this up at the beginning of the meeting, is more interaction with the technical side of the team. So um, I've talked to uh, Nyrick and I've talked to some of the QA people before, but um, other than just some conversations through IRC, um, I'm not really sure what's going on too much in those communities or into those teams, uh, just because there's enough to focus on with design, websites, and, and marketing. But um, it'd be really cool if we could get one person to step up from one of those teams and kind of do like a weekly, like almost like Matthew does, like a five things going on in infrastructure, five things going on in QA or so forth. And if somebody doesn't have the time to do all that, maybe they can make it a task for one of the contributors in there. And that would actually get them helping out with multiple teams. So when I was just in docs, I didn't really know what was going on with the Fedora community other than writing, you know, going out, looking at some things up, and doing doc writing. When I joined marketing, with the close relationship with websites and design, it's kind of reached, it's kind of, it's been a, more helpful for me because I've started to get to know more people in the uh, other teams. And on top of that, it's been nice because I am starting to kind of get to know more people on the infrastructure and the, the tech side of stuff. So um, I really think that that gap would be, it would help out too with the tech people kind of coming over to our side a little bit and saying, and they would learn more about the project as well. So that's the other thing I would like to get is just one person, um, or if they can't do it, maybe just like delegate like a task or so, just to write up something quick. It doesn't have to be anything long, kind of like Matthew's uh, five things. But I think the magazine, just in general, would uh, if people were you know we see a lot of non-technical stuff there, but I think if we could get some technical updates, what's going on in the Fedora project, I think that would interest a lot of people going there as well. So um, we do have a lot of readers from it. Um, you know, I just talked to a customer uh, a couple days ago um, working a support case at Red Hat, and he's like, oh, you're the Fedora Magazine guy. So we do have people that are not even using Fedora actually going to the site. So, oops. Um, and also, like I said, if the tech people will come over and do some stuff, they actually might enjoy writing something. I know uh, Adam. And the QA, he actually enjoys writing articles for the Fedora magazine, and he's you know really technical. So I think it would give people an option to contribute and also learn more about the other teams. So for people who are watching that want to contribute, we do have our join page, pretty self-explanatory. Um, IRC, um, I'm always in IRC usually, um, and I'll have it respond. I can see it when somebody highlights my name. Um, and there's also, usually uh, around the world, we have a few people. So somebody's always in IRC that can respond. Uh, email, I don't ever let any email go over 24 hours when somebody introduces themselves. So uh, if you're wanting to join, definitely send an email as well, and I'll make sure it gets looked at. Um, and then I have the task highlighted. So if you have a FAST account, you should be able to see all the tasks without even joining the team, and you can pick one and actually start working on it. If you need, team, if you need uh, tasks that you think are best suited for somebody who's new or not sure what to do, I can get, you can get a hold of me in IRC and I can help you. And we have, obviously, the Fedora magazine if you're looking to write an article um, or so forth. Um, that's kind of all I had. Did you guys have any questions? Or actually, we want to talk about the future, too. Uh, I forgot to get that slide in there. So with the future of Fedora marketing, what I would really like to see is uh, definitely more working relationships with the other teams. Um, I feel like we miss out on a lot of things um, because we're not actually talking to those teams. The other thing, too, is um, 
you know, it'd be nice to kind of know what's going on with the development side of things as well. And just not only for just the sake of Fedora Magazine, but just in case, you know, you know, if we go, to, you know, if we can send somebody out to a show or something, you know, just it'd just be a little bit better. I think that's our biggest tough point right there is the ambassadors not reporting back to us, and the second thing is just not enough relationship with the other teams. But in the future. Um, I'm working to get relationships with those teams, so um, we're trying to delegate uh, little jobs. So instead of having one marketing leader, uh, we talked about this last year with Matthew, um, but we're all taking little little side projects, which kind of is nice because we don't have one big tyrant, but we actually are breaking the task down. And so one of my jobs as, as one of the, the co-leads is to develop relationships with the different teams. Um, so the infrastructure one relationship is going pretty well. Um, so we're starting to work with the development and QA side of things. So I hope to see that progress in the future. Then as far as questions, did anybody have any? Or so uh, would this be a good opportunity to talk about uh, perhaps marketing requests going forward? Sure. Yeah. I hope I'm coming in okay. My uh, headset broke, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, as far as requests, are you talking like, um, did you have something, or did you want me to talk about it? Nope. Are you still there? Well, I, I wanted to talk about. Yeah, sorry, my uh, connection seems to be flaky as well. Um, okay. So uh, one of the things that came up in a recent council meeting, uh, we approved the, the second of our uh, initiatives. Uh, Remy is going to be uh, heading up an effort to expand our presence in, at universities and whatnot. And it, it feels to me like we should probably uh, make a real marketing attempt at, uh, addre at addressing the universities, uh, you know, just reach out to them tell them why, uh, why it would be a great idea for them to uh, dedicate a computer lab or hel help us run a, an install fest and so on. Uh, and I think that's kind of a marketing task as, as much as it is a, a council task. I, I, I completely agree. Um, I think that, you know, we do need to reach out um, because one of the, the biggest things with when I was talking to Matthew is and with our marketing team is that with contributors, we see a lot come in, and they'll do a couple of things, and then they'll kind of vanish and go do their own thing. So if we don't keep up with reaching out and trying to attract contributors, um, you know, the, it would, it, if we keep up, if it's almost like a numbers game. If we hit 99, if we get 99 people that want to join marketing and only four stay, but we don't ever recruit again and go out and reach out to people, we're not going to keep, you know, people are not going to stay and so forth because they're going to move on. They're going to do some other stuff. So I do. I completely support that in wanting to reach out more, and um, and that's something that we can do, definitely. Um, if that's if you guys if we if we could collaborate on a task or a best way to do that approach, that we're following legal, we're not spamming anybody or anything like that. I would totally be up for that. Is the connection still working? Yeah, no, that, that, that's fine. I didn't have anything to add, so I didn't say anything. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely support that. Um, if the console is totally up for that, then I would be definitely willing to do that. We can add tasks for that, um, and we can work up a workflow to get a hold of the you know universities and so forth and, and, and pitch the idea to them. Um, because there is definitely general Linux, you know, everywhere I go, I hear people talking about, um, you know, Fedora, Ubuntu, and so forth. So the, the, the interest is there. It's just a matter of reaching the people. Okay, hey, Chris. So. Uh, other note, can you stop sharing your screen because it's causing funny results? Oh, yeah, sorry. Here you go. That's better. Better. Awesome. <laughs> Okay. 
awkward staring at myself and yeah. Like, uh, like a, <laughs> yeah, sorry, I didn't know. Like, yeah, it's kind of use the blue jeans. So, um, but yeah, if if you guys, we can definitely work on a workflow for that. Um, so. so, I think partly the question is, what's the best general workflow for when somebody you like like this uh, university initiative? When, when there's a request for marketing help, what's the best way to submit that? Is it to grab you informally? Is there a ticketing system you should start with? Is it posted on the mailing list? That kind of thing. So, yeah, the ticketing system is probably the best way. Uh, we do have a, uh, well, I agree, both ticketing and an email, just kind of so we're aware of the ticket that comes in. Uh, but definitely put a ticket in um, with the, per you know, with the, uh, with the, the what the description is and you know who the university is or whoever it is and and then also send an email to the mailing list because um, I try my best to check the, the ticketing system every couple of days but email I check every day every morning so um, if somebody sends an email I the ticket will not be missed um, so the unfortunately the the ticket system doesn't always send the emails correctly so um, just the email to the mailing list or even hop in IRC real quick and say, hey, C. Roberts, blah, blah, blah. So, um, but I think that would be an excellent way to get more contributors. Um, so I'm cool. totally for that. Yeah, sorry, I'm in transcription mode right now, but um, I think I'm just about caught up with where we're at. So um, I'm really excited about um, a lot of the things that you're talking about, Chris, and we should definitely just do a, a general meet-up or conversation of some kind to just talk about all the, all the stuff and all the channels as they exist. Um, I'm still sort of figuring out, um, you know, the how big the elephant is around here in Fedora land and all the different parts that make it up so bear with me but um, the, a lot of the stuff that you're talking about with the with the setting up the tickets to figure out which universities um, I'm trying to work with the uh, educational relations team within OSAS which also just started recently to make sure that you know we're we're aligning as best we can to to build off of each other's efforts too. So that's something that I just have started to work on over the past week or so and um, we'll continue work on. So I'll keep you in the loop on that stuff too, Chris, if you're interested. Yeah, definitely. Uh, thank you. Yeah. I mean, we've really, you know, when I came into marketing, we kind of did meetings every week, um, even if we didn't have anything to go over and things were handled through email. And when I, uh, when Ruth left um, and Matthew asked us to kind of all like have a hive mind and work on things together. I talked to uh, Melga or Gabriel, and one of the things that we really that that we saw was an issue is that things were being left, were not getting done. Things were not being uh, kept. Nobody was being account held, held accountable for anything, and so forth. So what we did is we said, okay, design uses a ticket system. Infrastructure uses a ticket system. Every group, pretty much except ours, is using a ticket system. So when I looked at the ticket system, they were all from like 2007, 2008. So I said, no, we're starting with Fedora 21. We're starting a new system. Everything's going to be in tickets. That way people can be held accountable. We can keep track on things and so forth. So um, it's really been helpful. We've got everything done for Fedora 20. We got everything done for Fedora 21 on time. And with Fedora 22, we're making um, decent progress right now um, with everything being in tickets. So. Um, I've really taken that approach, and it's really been a positive thing for Fedora marketing. And so, um, you know, to add into the future of Fedora marketing, I think the ticket system is here to stay, um, just because it's so much easier to keep track of things, where what the status is, so I don't have to wait for somebody in another, you know, geo who's the marketing person to come online to kind of ask them a question. I can see, okay, what's going on with the Fedora bookmarks? All right, okay, cool. We've submitted this patch, so forth. So the ticket system for the for the universities would be a great way too because it would keep tabs on things and it will make sure that things don't go, um, you know, left to die or whatever.
but yeah, definitely, definitely keep me in the loop around me because yeah, it's the ticketing system would be the best way because it's I've really pushed since Fedora 21 to get that um, for us to use it. So I have a little bit of a wider question. Um, you know, I'm not sure. Well, so it's kind of I guess in two parts. So first and foremost, what do you uh, think is kind of the overall mission? And in a related question is, um, so what are you using for kind of metrics to decide whether you're meeting the mission? So um, the first, the, the mission, I guess, if, if I had to, if I had to take a, a wild stab at it, because we don't I really have an official one anywhere on the wiki page, um, is to make sure that you know Fedora is being every, you know, when people ask about Fedora, to make sure that they have the right information to make sure that the teams who do need information as far as anything in the community, um, anything at events and so forth, uh, is available and ready to them. The other thing is, is that we also want to make sure that, um, you know, we're not, we're, you know, this, I remember Ruth telling me this once um, when we, before we had, redid the wiki, is that our mission was actually to, to do both of those things and also to, you know, get rid of any rumors of, of things in Fedora, people saying Fedora is too hard, so forth, stuff like that. It's just to make sure that you know we're, we get the message out there about Fedora, and just you know, so it doesn't go to the wayside. Um, you know, I think that's you know one thing when I hear uh, people talking about Linux when I go to events or if I go to you know schools and stuff like that, um, is everybody's Ubuntu, 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 and I ask them, well, why don't you try Fedora? Why don't you use Fedora? And I'm like, and everybody's like, well, I don't really hear too much about it, and so forth. So, um, you know, when I hear that, it kind of makes me upset because it tells me that marketing is really not doing its job to get things, to get that information about Fedora out there. And so, you know, now we have the magazine um, and so forth, and we're definitely making strides. It's not something that can be fixed overnight by any means. But um, that's what I believe the mission statement is, to get Fedora's name out there in the community and also to make sure our internal teams have all the information they need to go forward with their work. Um, and as far as the metrics question, um, the, one of the links I posted in the, uh, the slides is the one that Yaroslav uh, puts out every uh, release uh, where we have to have the task done by a certain time. So. Uh, what I'll do is I'll usually create all the tasks at the beginning of a release and go forth. And what we'll do is we'll set hard deadlines. And then as, I, as those times come, I usually set a reminder um, in my email and say, okay, where are we with this task? Start getting you know resources aligned if nobody has anything. And if we don't, then we need to kind of work on it. If we don't, if we miss it, then I kind of actually take on the task myself to kind of go, okay, this needs to be done right away. What's the best course of action to get it fixed? Well, thanks. Um, you know, I just you, you kept kind of talking about contributor numbers, um, you know, as kind of examples of, of some goals I thought, and I was wondering if you're kind of tracking that metric somehow, um, well, and that's inform what your um, targets are in a sense. Well, so I, I don't have anything hard hard like that. Um, you know, my goal, my personal goal, is if we could get at least. You know, five contributors um, to marketing a month. That would be awesome. Um, I know a lot of people right now are focused on the magazine, and 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 that's kind of what I hope this flock this year does with Joe's talk is kind of separate marketing away from magazine, still be together as one project. But I want people to know that there's more to do than just the magazine, because there's some people out there who who just can't write at all. But they can do other things. They can work on flyers. They can work on tasks. They can go out and be like Remy, go out into the you know the universities and stuff. So um, I'm really hoping that this year at this flock that we can kind of disperse the two but keep them together, but let everybody know that there is more than just the magazine. Um, and that's kind of where I think our biggest thing is is that we get a lot of people who'd want to join our mailing list, and the first thing they say is I want to write for the magazine. So what I do is I send out a message saying, okay, cool, here's the magazine, but we also have this part of Fedora too, and here's the task if you want to look at that. And unfortunately, they usually go for the magazine, but that's that's okay because we're, we definitely want content there. But at the same time too, it would be nice, I want to have a goal of getting people actually doing Fedora marketing related things as well. 
Cool. So um, once this flock comes up, after the flock event happens, um, give it a month for everybody to kind of get back into, get back home and let everything settle in. I'm going to actually create a, uh, a personal goal of myself and actually track it of how many contributors we get after the flock and see what happens. Because we did have a spike last year after the magazine talk. So I think that if we had such good results after that, I think that we might uh, have a good metric to at least look at this year. Uh, Chris, that sounds like a, a, a good a good useful metric for Fedora marketing itself. Um, do you or Fedora marketing in general have some ideas for um, that same kind of metric for the project at, as a whole, like um, what happens after Flock, tracking those kind of things? So we did have um, there was an, um, a um, there was a uh, an email that used to go out all the time. Um, with all the different Fed message, you know, it was I think it was related from Fed message. But it was how many people signed up for Fast, how many wiki edits were done, that email. I haven't seen it in a long time, but it'd be really cool if we could get that coming back out. I forget who actually, because it's been so long, I forget who actually sent it out and compiled the results. But if we could get something like that again, um, it would definitely help. If we could kind of, you know, I know the Fast signups are kind of bots too, but. Um, it would really be good if we got that and we can kind of, you know, dive deeper into the results. Yeah, so that actually still exists as thisweekinfedora.org. Um, okay. I think Pingu made that happen. It comes from Fed Message stuff. So um, I kind of glance at that every now and then, but I sort of see it as um, data rather than information. It doesn't okay. really... It, it, there's no analysis. It doesn't tell me, it, tell me much except for I see some lines on a chart. Um, I would find it helpful if Fedora Marketing could sort of help gather that as, you know, market research kind of thing, you know, contributor, and, and that's contributor focused, but also user focused. Um, so, there's been, you know, talk for quite a while about board level or council level uh, user surveys or contributor surveys, possibly separate from each other. Um, and uh, there's, a, there's a thread on the desktop list about it right now, for example. Um, and I think Traditionally, in organizations, that's often a thing that marketing kind of does. Um, you think that that could or should be a part of Fedora marketing, or should we do that separately? No, it's something that Fedora marketing can do. Um, I remember at the last uh, flock, uh, we actually talked to um, you know me, Ruth, and uh, JZB, and I think you were there for a little bit of it. Uh, we talked about the user survey part of it. So um, I believe the holdup was actually trying to find a survey, um, either hosting it in house or trying to find a open source um, version of and, and a good list of questions that are not too um, prying, um, per se. Um, but that's something we were talking about, and it got kind of put on the back burner, unfortunately, due to uh, um, not being a decision on where, where, where we can have that survey. Because I, I can create a survey pretty quickly um, if we had a four-door meeting, and that's not an issue, but where we host it, either host it in-house or uh, if we can agree on one place, that's going to be what the community will approve of, of being open source. Yeah, I think one of the things is, you know, what questions you ask and what information we're actually gathering. And, you know, there's sort of a, we want some information, but not really a good um, idea of what that information actually is, what the best way to, to get the survey results in, in a way that's useful. Because we, right. we don't want to have a user survey and then have it come back with a really slanted, result that just, you know, just went to one subset of users or was overrepresented by one subset of users and that sway all of our actions. So, um, so I know this is an area where people with marketing background have expertise, so that's kind of why I'm asking for help. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, can do, we can do something for this. That's not a problem. So really quick, um, going back to your question about the, the compiled Fed message uh, emails and stuff like that. Uh -huh. um, I know that there's a Google Summer of Code project this summer called Stats Cache that we have one of the GSOC students working on that is going to be querying data grepper so that we can develop those kinds of metrics and uh -huh. get that. Um, so stay tuned. That's definitely something that's going to be getting some cycles. I know I'm absolutely very interested in tapping into data grepper, and we've started to do it and in tapping into Fed Message with a few different. Um, tools and visualizations and stuff, and those are going to continue to come along, but stats cache is supposed to be the place where we can um, get these sort of 
the idea of what what needs to be queried, so like what kinds of questions the council or other Fedora leadership or other just community members have, like how many people have more than three badges, or when was the last time X was updated, or stuff about community activity, and then Stats Cache will be able to regularly create those queries and then put them in a place so that people can get the answers. Because right now, nailing the, the data grep or database, depending on what you're querying for, especially if it's like over the history of the project, can be expensive. So trying to do that out of band or regularly is, is one of the goals of the Stats Cache project. So there's good news on the horizon. We, we not only have some, you know, mentors working on it, but we're going to have some Google Summer of Code students working too. So I think that's an exciting project that I'll definitely be keeping tabs on and helping out where I can too. Uh, Remy? Yep. Uh, are you sure that's under the Fedora uh, Google Summer of Code? Because uh, I was a, uh, was a, am a, uh, an admin for that, and we don't have that as a, uh, an accepted project. Cool. So I heard from 3Bean. Maybe I'm mistaken, but last I heard, 3Bean told me that that was something that one of the students were going to be working on. I think I talked to him um, at maybe last. This might be like a new thing. Kind of a related question, thought, whatever. Um, you know, would it be worthwhile to consider, uh, you know, a, what's going on in marketing this month, right? And um, do a bit of a report and a little analysis on contributor change, you know, based on um, this week in Fedora, um, you know, maybe this new data, um, you know, what tickets have been closed or opened um, for, you know, the marketing team in general, um, and that also might inform you as to what uh, things you want to know, right, uh, getting to um, Remy's point, right, of, of what kinds of things should you query. Um, that might, you know, I, I wonder if that would be a, a useful exercise to try to show uh, some of that analysis that Matt was referring to um, in, you know, a monthly article to Fedora Magazine. I agree. Um, if we can get some of that, especially, I mean, if, if we can get that project um, that Rami was talking about into Google Summer of Code, that would be really nice because not only would it help Fedora marketing, but I think it would help all the other teams too, especially about like the badges. You know, we've been really covering badges. Um, we've been really hitting badges hard. Uh, we did two uh, two speeches on it last year at Flock, um, and it would be nice to say, you know, we're only getting so many badges from this part of the project. What can we do to highlight for contributors on that section or that team, and so forth? Yeah. So yeah. Absolutely, and one of my goals that I have personally is to come up with badge sequences based on that kind of feedback so that we can figure out what the path for onboarding new contributors looks like um, for each of the sub-projects as well. Um, there's This is all really, really exciting stuff. I'm super stoked about it. I don't want to... I'm going to go back to transcribing, though, so that we can have a record of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if we can get that project in the... We can get that kind of analytics. Um, that would really help out marketing um, and so forth. But good, I think um, as far as, you know, if we could get those kind of metrics, we could kind of put something together um, on the Fedora magazine too because, like I said, it's not just Red Hat or it's not just Fedora anymore. Um, it's it's all over. Um, so, you know, I've even, you know, ever since Matt, when Matthew tweeted about the new theme, uh, we've really gotten a lot of non Fedora, non Red Hat uh, people looking at the site. So, uh, if we're, you know, if people are going to the site now and we're able to zone in on analytics of what teams need uh, so stuff, then we can actually put some articles up there, kind of like Matthew does with the five weeks in Fedora, kind of just like a summary of each one. And that might spike some interest as well. But I definitely do want, if we can get some data, I would like that because we can set up some marketing goals and so forth, and also kind of get a user survey kind of going out of that as well. Um, but as, as far as Matthew, as far as the survey, I think that definitely um, can be done. Um, I think uh, if we can agree on a place that we can use, um, I can get some questions written up and go over them with the console for you. Okay, cool. That would, that would be helpful, I think. Um, yeah. 
So uh, on a completely different different tack, um, you talked a little bit about um, working with some of the technical groups in Fedora and those kind of things. And also early in the presentation, there was a part about uh, ambassadors coming to marketing for materials and those kind of things. Um, how is that interaction working, and how do you think that could be improved? I know that's one of the things we've talked about with the idea for the the Fosco um, sort of committee for blending the two. Um, what do you think about that and the status of it? So one of the things is I, if we could get kind of um, you know I, I've tried I've helped out Nyric with a few projects, um, so that's how we've kind of got that relationship going. Um, but if we could get a, uh, if we could get something like what you mentioned, I'd be totally interested in for that. The, the, the Vasco you said. Okay. Yeah. Um, if it can, if we can get a technical, um, if we can get some more, some people from the technical. I know Roshi, um, he's on the QA side of things. He's been actually interested in joining marketing, and he's joined, and he's been kind of kept up with QA, but he's written a few articles. Uh, but if we can get somebody from the Devel side, um, that would be really cool too. Because, like I said, I, I really think if we could just get like a five weeks or five things in Fedora projects, um, almost just like a quick summary every week, I think it would might spark some interest in people who are, like I said, if we're not Fedora or Red Hat people, looking at the magazine and kind of. So, how would you connect that to ambassadors in specific? I guess. So the well, with the ambassadors though, I really think um, at the ambassador meetings, if we can if we can partake in their meetings, yeah, at least just one, where we know that there's going to be a significant number of them joining, um, just kind of mention to them that you know we're you know marketing we're we're hand in hand with the ambassadors, and if we can just kind of get and it somewhat like I said nothing major, but just a quick summary of an event, we can even kind of type that up and make it a little bit longer, you know, make it pretty, so forth, whatever you want to call it, um, and we can get some, but I think more event coverage would be nice too, um, because we're, a lot of people, some people I ask, um, who I talk to, and I mention Fedora, like, events, and they're like, oh, what's that, what, what goes on at those, and so we're not getting, people want to know, but we're not getting enough event coverage and so forth, so if we could just get ambassadors to... Uh, just even give, like I said, just a quick, quick, you know, maybe like a couple paragraphs that we could turn into something, a good published article. And if we got more event coverage, it would be, it maybe it would even spark more uh, interest from the from the other geos, you know, Latum, EMEA, um, and so forth, APAC, Asia, as contributors. Because they're like, oh, cool, you guys had an event just in my backyard. That's kind of cool. I want to, what can I do now to help out? So one thing from my side with my ambassadors slash um, Bamsco hat on, there's a pretty easy way that you can get more event coverage or that we can get more event coverage. And it's as simple as if you don't write an event report, you don't get, get any reimbursements for your expenses. Um, we already have that rule, but we should probably enforce it. Uh, we as in the ambassadors. Yeah, and the other thing you already mentioned it is that we definitely need to improve the collaboration between the design team, uh, marketing, and the ambassadors. That was ba basically the, the general idea um, behind F FOSCO, the Federal Outreach Committee. Um, we are not yet quite sure what the setup of FOSCO will be, but uh, Anything, I'm basically open to anything that uh, helps us to improve the collaboration between uh, marketing and ambassadors. I mean, just like you said, uh, you get to little events reports. Also, the ambassadors have things that they need, um, uh, things that they need from the design team or things that they need from the marketing team. So. Um, yeah, whatever collaboration we have, uh, whatever group or improvement you see there, um, I'd be highly welcome to hear and see it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even we can, I know there's some people. Oh, sorry, Matthew. Uh, go ahead. I was just saying thanks. 
Uh, yeah, I didn't want to step on anybody's toes as far as the uh, what the process is for ambassadors. But yeah, if we could get uh, if that rule is already in place, if we can enforce that. I mean, even if we need to uh, marketing, we can even create a template for the like a, like a like a ticket almost where they can just put in the information like what day it was, what time, you know, the times and stuff, you know, just kind of like a, and just a section for paragraphs. So we could even do that to help them um, for the people who have a hard time like getting the content out into a written status, but um, definitely um, we could help with that. But yeah, right now the biggest issue right now is that we feel like the ambassadors, uh, we used to have a lot of tickets coming in. When I looked at the ticket system uh, before Fedora 20, they had a ton of stuff from ambassadors, but now we really don't see too much. But so I would really like to bring that back, that relationship with them. Um. So I guess um, my 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 last question. I guess we're getting near the end of it. I don't know. I won't make it necessarily the last question, but I guess. Uh, are there some specific things that that we can the council can do for uh, marketing immediately? Are there needs that um, sort of concrete things we can help with right now? So I, I do think one of the things is is going back to the survey. If we can get the council to approve a place that will hold the survey, whether it be like externally or in house, that's something that we can start on right away. Um, it's kind of like I said, been pushed to the back burner because. Um, it's not too hard to make the questions, but do, where do we, you know, we, we need a place to actually host it. Um, and I don't know the legal ramifications of how, you know, like if we pick SurveyMonkey or something. So I don't know if we can get that immediately. We can at least start on the survey part of things. Um, the other thing, too, is the, um, you know, the Fedora console um, site, too. Um, has anything made been made a um, a decision made on that at all, or the blog site? Uh, yeah, as I understand it, I think um, Ryan is making a Fedora News blog site um, to sort of complement the Fedora Magazine with more uh, internal focused articles, and maybe some of this data stuff will go there. Things that people who are not deeply involved in Fedora uh, might be scared away by by seeing some numbers about things that they don't care about. Uh, and then also a Fedora Council blog site, this be a WordPress blog that any of us on the council can sort of put thoughts to, and we can put things like um, perspective uh, objectives and things we're talking about, so that um, they can be publicized in a very visible way where they don't come as surprises to people. Um, okay. So I think yeah, Ryan is actually working on those on this thing. Okay. But yeah, I think there's a couple things that we could use from the Fedora Council right away. It's definitely the survey. Um, that, and the other thing is too is if we could start, um, I don't again I don't know much about the rules from the ambassador side of things, but um, you know going forward um, we're almost to flock. Um, if we can make a, a like a like almost like an executive decision as far as console to the ambassadors that say hey starting uh, at this day we need to enforce the start enforcing the event reports. Um, because it is it is hampering the the future of Fedora marketing because it's something that I've I've wanted to share. Um, we do an excellent job when Flock comes out um, of getting like videos, getting articles published, recap you know people's event stories, um, and I would just wish that we could have that more um, not only for EMEA but every geo you know North America, LATAM, APAC, and I think going for I think if we can get that from the console like a set date. Because um, I know it is not going to happen overnight, but if we could get like a set date saying, hey, this needs to be, you guys need, to, in order to get funding, you need an event report, um, it would definitely promote more articles on the Fedora magazine. It would promote promote uh, more tasks for Fedora marketing people as far as what materials they need, because it would now, the streamline, the communication would be much more streamlined going back and forth between the ambassadors. Um, and that would, you know, Get more work with the Fedora design team as well. So it's all in all a better, a plus one for everything. Cool. Um, anybody else have any uh, last questions here?
Going, going. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Chris. That's a, uh, very much appreciate the report and status. Oh, no problem. And I guess uh, next week, Stephen Gallagher, um, you're uh, going to present on the Fedora objective of the next generation Fedora Flavors Edition products? <laughs> yes. Um, I was hoping to do so today, but unfortunately I wasn't able to gather up the information I needed yet. Um, I have received uh, responses now from the uh, uh, workstation and uh, cloud groups, so I'm going to put that together and I'll try to do... Uh, we, we'll try to do something similar to what we did today, uh, next week. Okay, do you want to do it with the Google Hangouts here? Uh, assuming that this uh, turn does... Uh, do, that we get feedback that this wasn't a terrible dis uh, disaster, sure. Okay, that, that sounds like a, a, a good... Um, what's the word? Copy out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah. So, uh, look forward to that. Okay, uh, thank you everybody then. See you next week and, you know, on, online in, in the interim as well.